Alright, every viewer. It's about that time. Ab bloom action all up in your face. What's going on right now? What is this? I'm Grand Pear. Welcome to Ponyville. Huh, you mean welcome back to Ponyville. Welcome Grand back. Grand Pear was originally from here before he opened his famous Pear Jam store in Van Hoover. Really? Oh, so he's Not a big pony. Back. Big deal. I, uh, well, I needed a change of pace. Huh. I don't like the way you said that, the way you look. This is delicious. Look, look kind of suspicious. <laughs> I believe I've gone my whole life without ever having this. I'm glad you like it. How much? No. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Grand Pear, sir. It was real nice meeting you. I'm kind of suspicious. I, maybe I shouldn't be, but I got like a, I got a vibe going on that I don't like right now. We'll see, though. Glad you're back, Sugar Cube. Just in time for breakfast for dinner. I got the perfect topper for flapjacks at the market today. <gasps> Hair jam? See, I knew it. I knew it. I caught it, baby. Something going on right now. What is that? What's going on? Something's going on. I don't know what it is, but something's going on right now, baby. I'm going to find out what it is right now. Right now. All right, pour, pour this mic closer a little bit. Kind of far away. All right. Until you all said it's magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. A magic man. Every pony. What are they? What are they? Deal. What are they it's looking for? Hair jam. The big deal is that there is a long-standing feud between the apples and the pears. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yep. Why? Why? Well, uh, actually, I, I'm I'm not really sure. You have any idea? Then why are you so worked up, then, uh, Applejack? Nope. Big Mac. What? Then I guess we should ask Granny. Ask me what? How are you so worked uh, up and you don't know why? better with apple fritter flapjacks? Caramel syrup or praline? Praline? Oh, that smells great, Applejack. I'm gonna go wash up for supper. Be right back. <sighs> Listen, Sugar Cube. Anytime Big Mac and I ever asked Granny about the feud or the pears, she'd get so upset she couldn't talk. Best okay. not bring All it right. up. Okay. okay, but that Grand Pear was really nice to me, even though I'm an apple. I wonder what happened. Me too. We are. But if we can't ask Granny, I don't know who. We can ask Goldie Delicious. If any pony knows about the feud, it's the family historian. I'm in. What do you say, Big Mac? Sibling trip first thing tomorrow? <clears throat> yep. I still don't know how you could be that worked up about something that you know nothing about. Is that is Twilight Man? What is that with all, all those books? You make an entrance, or is it an exit? <laughs> well, anyway, it's so wonderful to see you three. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Goldie, uh, we were going to tell you tell us about the uh, uh, feud with the apples and the pears. Oh, oh dear. Well, does Granny Smith know we are here? How you got all these cats no, on you, Pony? But 
I ran into Grand Perry yesterday and he was real nice. Maybe the feud was a misunderstanding or something and we can fix it? Uh, well, I don't know about that, little one, but if it's the story you're after, I, I suppose you have a right to know. Hey, let's see, uh, I'm gonna stack a book here someplace. Clearly oh, you're a cat, Pony. Family Tony. History, Volume 137. Hmm. Hmm. Here we are. Feud with the bears. I mean, pears. My eyes ain't what they used to be. A long time ago. Sweet Apple Acres wasn't the only farm in Ponyville. In fact, there was another one just right next door. Those are the Time pears. To your apples. Nothing sweeter than biting into a crisp apple on a beautiful fall day. Unless, of course, you could bite into a juicy pear. <laughs> Please. Pears are just what happens when you ain't no good at farming apples. Pears are nature's candy. Apples are sour. Like the expression on your face right now. No, they're not. <laughs> Don't lie to me. So I've had plenty of apples in my day, and that's how it is. We're always at each other. Who was the best farmer? Who took better care of their trees? If Granny read to her trees at night. And then the little tree reached apples are delicious. up to the moon. And the moon said, good night. Why then, Grandpa had special blankets made for his trees so they wouldn't get cold. Good night, trees. I've got you covered. I see what you did there. I think you guys might be taking this just a little bit too seriously. Just a little bit, little bit. In fact, all the apples in the pears were rivals to the core. The only apple and pear who ever got along were Bright Macintosh and Pear Butter. Psst. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm not supposed to talk to you either. My mom says if you hold a buttercup under your chin, it'll make your chin glow. But it doesn't work on me. See? Does it work on me? It sure does, Buttercup. Buttercup. I like that name. Wait an apple picking minute. Bright Mac and Buttercup, those are our parents' names. Of course, Buttercup was just a nickname your father gave your mother, Pear Butter. Well, that was her given name. Are you saying our mother was a pear? Oh my god! So we are half pear? I can't believe it. How did we not know? They're half pear? No pony called your mother pear butter. And her cutie mark was a preserved job, but pear butter don't look too much different from apple butter, so no clues there. <sighs> Is there anything else you can tell us about them? I know they loved each other very much. They had that magical, starkest other side of a They're half pear people! You couldn't be around them too long and, and not feel a little bit lighter than air yourself. <laughs> Anything else? Hmm. I'd need volume 138 for that. They're not even full apples! I'm sure I could wrangle it. In a, in a couple of days. Not that that matters, really. But... That's all right, Goldie. It was nice just to hear it. Oh, to me, it doesn't. I just remembered something. Your dad and his buddy Burnt Oak would get in all kinds of trouble together as colds. Burnt Oak? The firewood sales pony? I haven't seen him in ages. He and your dad were thick as thieves back in the day. Y'all should talk to him. Alright. You need to get, get rid of the cats, Bounty! Get to me, cats! Well, well, right. it's in the apples. What can I do for you? 
I know you're not here for firewood. You got more trees than any pony in Ponyville. You're right. We're not here for that. You come to ask about your dad? Uh, yep. Well, I wondered if you might. Hoped you would. It's Why nice you sound to talk like that? about. Him. You sound sad right now. I don't like that. <laughs> We had a lot of laughs. You laughing in fact, now? That's this cool. one time, well, we were racing to see who could till the fastest, and Bright Mac was leaving me in the dust. He would have won too if he wasn't so distracted. Ah! You look cute with a what? With the wet mane. Oh! Pear of butter, what did you do? I, I'm not sure. Oh god, what are you biting? Excuse me? The water silo. It was my fault. <laughs> hey! Oh, you owe me a new silo, boy. And you? Come with me. No daughter of mine is gonna make Google eyes at an apple. Really? We'll see about that. I don't think he's paying Grand attention, Pony. Grand never would've known it was your father's fault. But there was no way he'd let your mother take the blame for something he did. So Dad was super honest. He was. And doesn't fall far from the tree. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. Honestly. Your dad worked the apple farm all day and then headed over to the pears on his brakes to fix the water silo. I didn't see him for weeks. Not that he minded. Gave him a chance to get to know your mom. Did you know our mom too? Buttercup was a real peach of a pear. But if you want to know more about her, you I should ask Mrs. There. Cake. Mrs. Cake? She and your mom were inseparable when they were fillies. Really? Then let's go. Thanks, Burnt Oak. Uh, would it be okay if we stopped by again sometime to hear more stories? Of course, I'd Big like Mac. That very much. Look at this ass water. I'm getting emotional. But clearly, this pretty much Wait, confirms the theory that the parents are gone. There are no more leaves. people. Hi, Mrs. Cake. We heard you and our ma used to be real good friends, and we were hoping you could tell us a bit about it. Used to be. Oh, I would love to. I never knew the right time to bring it up, but I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Oh, for starters, did you all know that it was your mom who convinced me to pursue baking? Really? But isn't your name Mrs. Cake? Not always. Back when I was Chiffon Swirl, <laughs> I had no idea who? what I was supposed to do. Chiffon Swirls? But one day, your mom brought me some candied pears, eggs, flour, sugar, and vanilla, and told me to just be creative. Next thing I knew, I was whipping up pear upside down cake, and I got my cutie mark. Oh, so her mom was how she got her cutie I was mark. Supposed to do long before I did, just like you, Sugar Cube, or rather, <laughs> you're just like her. That was the first of many cakes for me, and Buttercup was with me through it all. She'd be my taste tester. I love her mane. Help with the decorating. I, I just like the way it hangs. It's kind of hard to describe. I'm, I'm, new ingredients. I like it though. The way it hangs, and I like the color too. Over the years, I perfected my recipes. Your mom did so much for me. One day, I wanted to surprise her with a cake.
Oh, it's just you. Sorry. I just brought you a little something to say thank you. But I see you're busy. <laughs> Promise he won't say anything? Now you're blushing. Uh-oh. You and Bright Mac? Ooh, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Your families hate each other. I can't help it. We just sort of... Quick! Thin Pear Butter told me the sweetest love story I have ever heard. But yeah, people, before this episode... Happy 131,456 hour anniversary, darling. What? <laughs> That's way longer than we've been together. I know, but it's the anniversary of the first time I called you Buttercup. Aww. It's okay if you didn't get me anything. Oh, stop it. Actually, you know it's not okay. I do. Howdy. A guitar? A song? Me, but... No, a song. I think I think I, I don't think know she... how to play. Howdy, I think she's going to play it. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> We're far apart in every way, but you're the best part of my day. And sure as I breathe the air, I know we are the perfect pair on a prickly path that goes. See what you did there. But it's worth it just to see you smile. Run off together. And I cannot be pulled apart from the hold you have in my heart. And even if the world tells us it's wrong. You're in my head like a catchy song. Wow, it's just wow. Do I like, like that. It? Be honest, man. I love it. I it's love the it. Best gift you could have given me. Seasons change and leaves may fall, but I'll be with you through them all. And rain or shine, you'll always be mine. On a prick. I can't help falling in love with you. They get romantic. Hey, no fair. I was gonna tell you the same thing. You're just mad I beat you to it. They don't take it there that often I'm on the show. I'm telling you, I was gonna pull you up, it's... cover your eyes, lead you over here. It's usually about that and friendship. Say surprise. But now they're getting romantic and I love it. And then you'd say, Oh, Bright Mac, I love it. And then I'd say, I love you. Too bad it didn't work out, though. Yep, too bad. The pears are moving. <gasps> what? Excuse me? I mean, Excuse I me, Pony! Moved, but I didn't know all that stuff happened before with Granny and Grandpa. It must have been really hard on our parents. Oh, it was. We're moving to Vancouver? But that's so far. 
It's what's best. There's acres of untouched land. I and disagree. A to make our jams. We'll get to expand our business and get away from those gosh darn apples. Pear Butter was devastated. But seeing no way out of it, she did what she had to do. So that's it? What do you want me to do, Bright Mac? We're moving. I love you, but I have to stay with my family. Then Bright Mac did the most romantic thing I've ever seen any pony do. What? 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 We're gonna need one more pony to tell that story. Why? Just tell it right now! You knew our parents? Not as well as Mrs. Oh, Cake, okay. but I did play a part in their okay. love story. The night before the Pear family moved, Bright Mac asked me to meet him at the edge of Sweet Apple Acres. Okay. <gasps> I know they're not going to do what I for you. Ever. I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm sure of us. So sure that I'd marry you today. Oh my god! I too. I think that's my cue. I had the honor of officiating your parents' secret wedding. People that get married! It was perfect. Bright Mac knew Buttercup wouldn't want a big splash. Reminds me of some pony else I know. <laughs> yep. So they had a special way to seal their vows. I now pronounce you. What is going on? What with all these oh. candles? Not Where secret you anymore. Where are you? You're supposed to be packing. Yeah, definitely not secret what anymore. What are you two doing? You just ruined oh. a beautiful wedding. Grand pair? Buttercup and I are in love. What? <laughs> Deal with it! And we'll be married as soon as Mayor Mayor says... Oh, I now pronounce you husband and wife. There it is, it's official Doesn't now. that feel nice? Kiss! Oh. What are you talking about, married? You two can't be married! Finally, something we can agree on. Pear butter, enough of this nonsense. We're moving, and you gotta stick with your family. But the apples are my family now, too. Exactly! Speak on it! You can't be serious. She is. Are you choosing to be an apple? Half apple! Pear? Half pear, half apple! Are you Deal with it! Are you me choose? Yes, I am. Then, yeah. I guess I am. Fine! <laughs> you made the right decision, honey. I can't believe Grandpa just up and left Ma like that. No wonder Granny never told us about any of this. These things are never easy. And it's hard to know when it is a good time. It seems to me that now's as good a time as any to talk to both our grandparents. Yep. Let's see how this talk goes. Excuse me, Grandpa. I'm Applejack, and this year's Big Macintosh. But you already know who we are, don't you? Sure do. Did you really move to Ponyville just for a change of pace? No. Then you came here because you're sorry and you want to get to know us too? I'm so sorry. I, 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 I was just so angry. And, but I, I never... It's in the past, Grandpa. Oh, can I call you Grandpa Pear? <laughs> Sure can. I have a little number in the moment, Aaron. I'm getting in my feels. Let me get in my now, feels. Stop making me laugh. I ain't seen hydra hairy as all day. 
We've been all over, learning about our parents. The me you have. And yeah. our grandfather. Yeah, Granny Smith. So, you're back, hmm? Sure am. <clears throat> Never should have left. Finding you and learning all about Mom and Dad, I feel like I found a piece of me I didn't even know was missing. Hearing their story makes me feel closer to them somehow. Me too. I'm sorry. I should have told you all about them sooner. And I should have been here. Nah, I can't believe I let a silly feud keep me from my family. Nothing's keeping you from us now. Let's not miss anything else. Applejack's right. Welcome back, prickly old pear. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you old crabapple. Now that we're all together, there's something we want to show you. Mom and Dad left us something to remember them by. Come on! Whoa. Yeah! The seeds that they planted! It's beautiful. It's impossible. If anything's gonna make it through, it's apples Hey, pears. <laughs> God, that was beautiful. Oh, oh, I almost lost it right there, people. I gotta be honest, but um. I was gonna say that I don't know if I said it, but I, I was trying to say it, but I kept getting cut off. But um, before this episode, it was strongly suspected that um that 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 her parents were were, were gone. But this episode pretty much confirms it. It was a beautiful episode. It's very emotional. Um, I almost lost it, people. Um, but uh, I gotta end this video. I gotta end this right now before I lose it. But let me know what you guys thought about it. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Until next episode, people. Until next time.